Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. Today I want to do a follow-up video on the Chevrolet freebie drama that happened in my last video. So I want to address quite a few of those comments that were in, uh, like I said, my last video. So let's get going. So as you can see, Darren and I are still on the road. We are in North Carolina with the truck and trailer and the BOS 2.0 inside. But I wanted to address selling my vehicle because there were quite a few comments that talked about, you know, my vehicle's lowered and I'm gonna sell it and the new owner is not gonna have a warranty on the uh, front lift system. So here's the deal. Yes, my car's lowered. Yes, Chevy could void the warranty if something were to go wrong with the front lift system because of it technically being lowered. But is that really going to happen? The likelihood is probably not. So I'm not too worried about it. And that's up to the new owner, whether they're going to accept the terms of, you know, buying my car as is or not. If they don't want it, then they won't buy it. If they're okay with that, obviously they'll go ahead and purchase my car. And then that's on them. So... That was the first thing that I want to discuss. The second thing is I, when I was talking about Joe, the uh, manager over at Classic Chevrolet and his car not being, and I said lifted, what I really meant to say was lowered. He has a stock C8 Corvette. It's not lowered, but it does have the front lift. So because of the fact that it has the front lift, he actually had the exact same noise going on with his C8 Corvette. And he let me know this is exactly what's going on and this is how you fix it. And so when I was talking in my last video, I misspoke and I did say lifted car. What, what I really meant to say was it was not lowered and it did have the front lift. That's number two. So number three is all of you out there who are claiming that I made a big mistake with changing my oil early, I'm sorry to say, but you guys are sadly incorrect. You guys are definitely not correct when you make that statement. I actually did some research myself and I also contacted uh, Joe at Classic Chevrolet just to find out what his take on the whole matter was. And that is 100% incorrect information. Whoever gave you that information, it might have been a dealership of yours that gave you that information to try and force you to pay again, like you've said in the comments, that you you know, took it in early, you got your oil changed for free, they did the uh, transmission, uh, you know, uh, filter change, and then you took it in for the 7,500 mile warranty uh, or the 7,500 mile change and you had to pay you know, all this money to get it done at that point. Well, that is incorrect. The way that it works is when you take your car in, no matter when it is for that first oil change, it's free. Chevrolet recommends that you don't need to do it until the 7,500 mile mark. So if you do it early like I did, that's on you. However, after that, all you do is you go off of the oil uh, percentage life that's on your dash. So you just scroll through, find your oil percentage life, and that's what you base your next visit off of. So it's not a 7,500 mile visit, no matter you know if you change the oil at 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, whatever it is, it's whenever that engine oil life gets to a low percentage, that's when you wanna bring it in for the next oil change. And yes, you will pay for your next oil change. And it will not void the warranty at all no matter what you think, it's not gonna avoid the warranty that you changed your oil uh, early on like I just did. And last but not least, I misspoke 
about something else and I have a very good reason why I accidentally misspoke. So I said that they flush your transmission fluid, you know, as part of the free service. Now here's why I said that. Because in September of 2020 is exactly when I reached with my first C8, the 7,500 mile mark. And once I reached that 7,500 mile mark, I had something weird happen with my transmission. Uh, it, was, it was already kind of shifting roughly, but I came to a stop and I started up uh, at the stop sign and it really made a, a harsh noise and uh, kind of jolt forward. And so I had already scheduled an oil change. I called them and said, hey, here's the deal. Uh, what do you think about this? And they said, don't worry, you're bringing it in for an oil change. So at that time that we change your oil, we will do uh, probably a procedure on the transmission fluid. Um, and at that time, I also wanted the extra two quarts because I was planning on tracking my car. So they were like, we're gonna take the fluid out anyway, but we have to flush the transmission a few times. So I'm getting eaten up with bugs out here. Uh, we have to flush the transmission a few times. And so we're gonna do that flush and then we'll put the extra two quarts in there. So my mind just thought all that happened at the same time. And I mean, it did, but it just seemed like it was free to have all that done when it really wasn't. And so that's my bad, I misspoke. Uh, but the two free things that you do get is the, uh, the tranny filter changed and then obviously the oil change. So that's really gonna do it. Just wanted to clear the air on that last video so you guys would know that I'm not just out there, you know, talking to hear my head rattle. I really do know what I'm talking about and I just had some brain farts and misspoke. And one of the things that I, uh, you know, did that quite a few people on the video said was wrong to do was not actually wrong to do. So that's gonna do it. I hope that cleared the air on those issues. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Also, uh, wish Darren and I luck through our travels um, we had some things happen already that you're going to see on a different video, but I can't wait to get this Corvettes at Carlisle content out to you guys, but you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.